Welcome to Ellie Goldsmith's Relationship Flow. I apologize about the noise around me. Um, we are in our intimacy series. We're going to take a little break this week based on the fact that one, we had to post later on in the week than we planned. Um, but the real reason is because of the tragedy that happened in Moran, Lag Bome, last week, that the inner connection we spoke about in the previous episode. Um, was achieved but not in the most positive way unfortunately people 45 souls passed away and many injured and still needing a full recovery Um, that based on that that really affected my relationship flow uh, that I was hoping that this time period would be a more joyous time to focus on intimacy and other positive things and instead there's been a lot of trauma and recovery working through the pain and the sorrow I'm going to be posting a picture as the cover of an example of how much trauma that went on between a father and son holding hands older son and they were walking together it was captured by my son-in-law Nachman Styles photography he was there at the time he arrived just in time for all the tragic events that were taking place and being a photographer when he saw that picture he it just moved him, he took a picture, he didn't know who they were, and it was revealed to him after posting it uh, the next day or so, that, and it went a bit viral, that people recognized the father and son as the father and son of the um, two, two uh, bochrem, or as we say, two teenager boys who had passed away. And it was also revealed to my children that they were in the school with them at one point, that they were part of the 45 souls that passed away. So this episode of the relationship flow is dedicated to their memory the 45 souls and also that kind of trauma that the father and son were going through look searching for their for their lost son brother and brothers and searching through the crowds of Moran of almost half a million people and the whole craziness that went on um, it makes us realize that one how important and precious our relationships are the love between us, uh, how much we need to be there for each other, support each other. You know, like uh, my own wife, his soulmate, thank God, was asleep at the time that this was all going on, but I was on the phone trying to get hold of my son once I realized what had happened, because I knew he was there at the time. Thank God he'd gone through it. I spoke about this more on the Amunes, our future podcast, and our Unity Flow podcast, so I reposted it there. Um, The good news is that we will be starting a United Souls course and i'm going to put the link below in the comments and description i would like you guys to come join us sign up i think we need a lot of soul work right now i do believe that the only solution to all this pain and sorrow that's been going on this whole more year and more including this recent tragedy is the solution is the soul level that gives us solutions to race racial issues and gives us solutions to relationship issues and gives us solution to all the parent pandemics, epidemics, the online epidemic, everything that's been going on. The solution is the soul level. The, through the soul, we have all the tools we need to be able to overcome all kinds of sorrow and struggle and transform this darkness into light. Uh, we'll talk about it more. I do apologize again about the sounds around me. But thank God it's a busy, hot day in Jerusalem. And I really haven't had any other time until now to do the relationship flow. But that's why I request that you should join us, dedicate your relationships to be more soulful. And with that power, that will be a huge dedication to all those souls that passed away. And hopefully in the new week, we'll renew our intimacy flow and we'll be able to get into more important parts of the intimacy series that will help enhance our relationships that we can go through anything together as as is taught in our holy books that we have the power through tuning into our soul level our soulmate that we can overcome any kind of struggle any kind of tragedy and that's brought us through the most crazy times in history that soul connection And I believe that that's alive in every relationship that's lasted and is growing and hopefully flourishing. So on that note, I wish everyone a comforting Shabbos, Shabbos Chazak, Baha, Bechukosai, 
that I have the blessing to live in the Holy Land where we have Shemitah coming up and I have the power, hopefully, to go in the way of Torah, the, the true light that was revealed in, the, in another less than two weeks already. Very powerful time kind of leading up to Shavuot that we're in right now and that is a tremendous dogma example of what marriage should be about, relationships should be about in the Torah and the way we received it with the relationship and all the different tikkunim. Anyway, I wish everybody a beautiful rest of the week and a good Shabbos. Thank you for listening. Shabbos Chazai. All the encouragement we need. Amen. Please share your relationship flow. I'm looking forward to uh, to connect in the week. Oh, just to remind you that, that once again, um, we ask you to share our podcast so people can listen. And please go back to the previous classes on the intimacy flow so that when we join again, you guys will be caught up. Thank you.